Hello children, now moving on to exercise 7.1 sum number 7. This is the diagram. They are saying AB is a line segment and P is the midpoint. So if P is the midpoint, I can say AB is equal to BP because AB is 10 cm. Suppose if AB is 10 and P is the midpoint, that means this is 5, this is 5. So we can say AP is equal to BP. And they have told that these two angles are congruent, equal. BAD, BAD is equal to ABE. Now, this are lying alone. So, I can say instead of BAD, I can say angle A and E and ABE, ABE. So, I can say angle A is equal to angle B to be make it simple. And EPA is equal to DPB, EPA. That is this, EPA is equal to DPB, DPB. That's why these two are marked like this. EPA is equal to DPB. Now, if this is equal to this, we have to prove triangle DAP is equal to EBP. Now, how will I get DAP children? I need DAP. How will I get DAP? If I add this EPD, which is extra, to this part, I will get DAP. So, this EPA is already given equal to DPB. EPA is equal to DPB. Now I am adding EPD to both the sides. Suppose children EPA is equal to DPB. Suppose let them be 50 degree. If both are 50, 50, then this becomes 100 and then it is a linear pair. So this should be 80. So if this is 80, I am adding EPD 80 to both the sides. This will also become 80 plus 50, 130. This will also become 80 plus 50, 130. So when whatever angles I get, they will be of equal measures. So EPA plus EPD, EPA plus EPD, that means EPA to EPD is coming from here to here and they are forming the angle DAP. So angle DAP is equal to DPB, DPB, suppose now this is done, now I will take this side, DPB plus EPD, DPB plus EPD. That means from here to here. And what is this angle forming children? This is forming EBP which I wanted. EBP. You can see EBP. So this is also I am getting. So this we have proved that the angles are equal. But we have to prove that triangles are congruent. So how will we do that? Now here if you see, let me draw this DAP. DAP. It looks like this. DAP looks like this, right? And EBP, EB, EB is slanting and P is like this. So this is what and B is marked like this. So in this we have to prove these two triangles are congruent and we need three points. We already know AP is equal to BP and angle A equal to B. So that we will write AP is equal to BP. What is the... Uh, how are they equal? Because P is the midpoint. And angle A equal to angle B. Because they are marked and given in here. A is equal to B. So given. And here we just now proved that angle DAP is equal to EBP. From 1. So this is your side. This is your angle. And this is your angle. But we have to look at the pattern. So how do we go children? Angle A. Then AP is the side. And then DAP. This full is angle. So angle side angle. If you go from there also. BP is the. Uh, angle B is the side. Uh, angle B is one angle. And BP is the side. And then EBP. EBP is the angle. So angle side angle. So we can say by angle side angle triangle DAP is congruent to triangle EBP. And we have to prove AD is equal to BE. See whether they are for, uh, forming the same pattern. AD is first two and BE is also first two. So AD is equal to BE congruent parts of congruent. Thanks. Hope this sum is easy for you.